It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Words from the wise, I just start, we will never lie. Stand tall, we will never die, we'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky, some hate, some love. Blessed love, pleasant good afternoon, warm welcome mindset program, I just time your host. Want for greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty. Emperor Il Selassie I the first, Empress Men in the first, another day above ground, and we give him thanks and praise for life. Beautiful viewers and subscribers, warm welcome. So what we are looking for now, we are looking for, um, I think we happened a couple of days ago, them say about 300,000 300, million a uh, 300,000 million cocaine bus will impact the gang members or gang organizations in Jamaica. <clears throat> so police find a whole pack of cocaine and ganja press and all sorts of things. Them say it value about 300 million. 300 million, and I don't know if I all like this or dip on the ground, 300 million worth. Zane, it look like a cut. The policeman, them a cut and a drill into um, into a, what you call it, some vehicle or something or another. But I come across a, 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 a article where it really has said, um, well, the article here so I say now. It has said, The Jamaica Constabulary Force is confident that a three a three hundred million cocaine bus on Monday and uh, and the hundred and seventeen hundred and fifteen pound of compressed ganja seas. And Saturday have put a major dent in the operation of the island criminal underground um, underground or uh, underworld. According to the head of the corp corporate communication unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent of Police, Stephanie Lindsay, the two drug the the two drugs found are part of a security force effort to stem in founding for gangs on the island. We, we see how this can have an impact on the criminal network. We have to commend the Marine Division and the JDF Coast Guard this is a second major drug fine in three days. Just Saturday, they found over 100. Um, just Saturday, they find seven, 700 pounds of compressed marijuana. And today, they are find, they're finding this. It is, it is the, pro the proceed from drugs that are fueling gangs. And we continue to ask to dismantle the gangs to seize all guns and to apprehend all the gunmen, then we believe that these operations and, and the impact that they will have, they will have, will lim unlimited allow us to take away the proceeds that are using to fund their illegal activity, Superintendent Lindsay said. Uh, on Monday, 
the security forces said that they found an estimated value of 300 million worth of cocaine in a vessel they had seized five days prior. Report from the police are that on April 6, three men aboard a vessel reportedly experienced machine mechanical difficulties at sea and requested assistance from the Coast Guard of the Jamaica Defense Force to return to land. The three reportedly said they were fishermen and the Coast Guard towards the vessel to shore f towards shore from Pedro Bank where it was found. Superintendent Lin Lindsay said that upon investigation it was discovered that the vessel did not have the proper documentation needed by the fishery department. The Marine Division of the JDF JCF was alert and the three men were charged with breach of the Fishery Act. The men were bailed and scheduled to appear in the St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday and March the 11th. She also said, according to, however, according the maritime police, sus suspicion was arose when they discovered a 20, a 20 to 40 gallon container with liquid substance aboard the vessel. The liquid substance has been sent to the forensic laboratory for testing which is still outstanding. On Monday, the maritime police continued their investigation and and maritime investigation and the vessel and found suspiciously features which led to the dismantling of the watercraft at which time they discover a total of 141 package of cocaine weighing two kilo each in secret compartment. The operation had been taken over by the narcotic division of the JCF. Narcotic has now taken over the investigation. They will update us in good time. They will have to continue the investigation, find, find these men and lay additional charge in a charges Lindsay said. Zane, so man them out for um do some serious fishing. Some serious fishing and low and behold mechanical um problem reach them. And when mechanical problem reach them, them 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 ask for help. Now the interesting thing about this um this seizure is in April, and we, 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 we are going to go one year before. We are going to go to 2000. We are going to go to 2001 because this is quite interesting that um, it run about the same time, but the only difference is now, um, the only difference is then. There were police involved in in um in in the big drug bus, which was what this was value. It was value. It was value the same thing. Um, cocaine value at over over three hundred million C's in marijuana drug bus. So the same. So how is it that is the same thing that is happening here? Um, similar date, this was published uh, 15th or uh, 16th of April 2001. Zemek would just browse over the article a little bit 
A member of the Jamaica Constable Force is co-accused remain in custody in relation to a major drug bust in Portmore, St. Catherine. And the police made another major bust at the Kingston Freeport Terminal. The two men were named are being withheld pending further investigation where accosted on Wednesday as cops from the narcotic division and the St. Catherine South Police swooped down on the Portmore fishing village located along the Dyke Road in Portmore. And who is familiar with um, the Dyke Road or familiar with Portmore will know exactly where they're talking. The police say they see several items including cocaine value at 250000 a uh, go fast boat and guns uh, were items that were recovered. So this this article is is um last year, Zane, but is the exact the only difference here, and we're still early in the investigation based on what I'm hearing or what I'm reading, Zane. Police was involved in this one. Um, one of the latest, one of the latest, one of the latest thing too. We are here that this, 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 um, this drug boss now. Some Colombians are involved in 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 that drug boss. Now, I, 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 as I said early. In the investigation, you, 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 it, it's possible that you might have some police involved in a them type of thing, yeah. Zin, because they, them always involved somehow, somewhere. Zin, yeah, man, them always involved somewhere or another. You see me? So Colombian Coke Link, a West, a Westmoreland gang, believed to. Be believed to be heavily linked to the lottery scamming is at the center of Monday major cocaine bus in Kingston. A senior law, lawman with impeccable knowledge of the investigation told um, one of these outlets, I think it's the cleaner, Zane, yeah, that, um, where is it here? A senior lawman told the Gleaner and choose why the article is being okay. Right, so, all right, we're gonna leave it there. So, we're not gonna press it too much, you know what I mean? I don't know what go on here, so, but it, it does look weird that a similar case. That um, similar thing that happened last year, round about the same time, April, today is the 13th. Zane does three days short of what we were reading um, just a while ago. You understand? So, I don't know. I don't know if them thing is um, something to make it look like, say, boy, you know what? The police them are do some work and the government them the government are actually putting in some work. I don't know if they're trying to look good or they're actually doing work and you know these things are actually credible. You know, because it does look away that last year, same time. Zane, you have a you have a, you have a, you have a similar a similar type of thing. You know what I mean? A similar similar type of similar type of incident. You know, a similar type of incident star. So I don't know if if it's a real 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 thing I go on. Cause Mr. see that it's on your screen right now. Zane. Where 
a police was 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 involved in that one last year. So I don't know. Let me know your views and thoughts, honorable family. Z never if these things are credible or you know it's just you know them cause couple of months now, probably last two, three months, a whole pack gun and firearm we say a fine. And we just we are wonder how them know say yo them firearm and them thing there. They are them place there where them are fine because we see them are dig up. More or less they must have get um credible information um from informers who have leaked information to them. So um they're able to, you know, to achieve these these guns are the guns are put there and it's all a publicity stunt on the media. And all these other platforms is behind them and does a mislead and deceiving the public. But let me know your views, your thoughts, and what the item think about um, the whole of this thing. Uh. Mindset, manners and respect, peace and love, give thanks and praise for life, health and strength. Catch the item on the rebound, manners and respect. Subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset.